Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. Hope everybody had good holidays, whichever ones you may celebrate. So I'm letting the, the oven preheat and I thought I'd crack open one of these. Cold IPA by Samuel Adams. So I didn't realize that there was actually a new beer in the Sam Adams winter variety pack or Christmas variety pack, whatever they call it. Um, I actually thought they were all the same and uh, I actually, I'm filming this right before Christmas, got the variety pack to share with my family, but then I realized I haven't actually reviewed this beer. It said that it was new on the box and I didn't believe it, so I went back and looked at my reviews from last year. The, the new IPA they had last year was the Reunion IPA. This year it's the Cold IPA. So I thought, I definitely have to review this then. Since it's new and I have the, the opportunity to review it, may as well crack it open. All right, let's see here. Inspired by our Boston winters, cold IPAs fermented at colder temperatures for a fresh spin on the style. This beer has a balanced bitterness with a bold burst of IPA hops. When winter hits, raise a cold one. All right. Um, looks like it weighs in at 6% ABV and 40 IBUs. If, if you're hearing whimpering and scratching, it's because uh, my dog apparently wants to go out in the bitter cold. So if you'll give me just one second. All right, well, let's crack it open. See what's in here. Hopefully it's cold enough. I put them in the, the fridge while I was on my lunch break and I worked a few extra hours. So they've been in the fridge well, seven or eight hours. I would assume that's long enough. Okay, that's actually like straw gold, um, white soapy head, very see-through. I'm not sure if that came across, but that was my dog barking at something outside. So if you'll give me just one more second. So yeah, it, it actually looks a lot like a light beer or something, but I can smell it from here. It's a little, little hoppy. Picking up a little piney bitterness. All right, sorry about that. My dog is going crazy at one of the neighbor dogs and sometimes she likes to try to jump the fence. So just gotta make sure she's staying in the yard. All right, well, like I was saying, there's a little bit of piney bitterness and I can't remember what else. What is that I'm smelling? I can't tell what that is. There's something else in there. I'm just not, I'm not able to distinguish what it is. All I can smell is the, is a piney bitterness, but even then it's not super strong. It actually smells pretty good. So um, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, there's the piney bitterness which is not overwhelming. A little bit of like a, just kind of like a citrus blend. It's medium light in body. And that's really about it. I mean, it's not, it's not an overly complex beer. I, I was hoping for maybe a little bit of a, a maltiness in there or something to, to pair with it I, but um yeah i don't know it, it just got a nice mild bitterness and a nondescript citrus to it all in all not too shabby something i could definitely drink um of course it's a seasonal so it's not something i'll be drinking a lot who knows if they'll even bring it back um next year because last year they had the Reunion IPA as their new IPA. So who knows if this is actually going to make it. It probably depends on the... 
excuse me, that terribly crude my first beard. I already got the bubbles. I do apologize. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Who knows if they'll bring it back. I suppose if the fans like it well enough, they will. So that's my two cents. Um, I'm going to leave you at that. I do appreciate you watching. And if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the multi-gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.